Hey guys, today we're going to install this Honeywell Lyric T5 Wi-Fi thermostat. Um, pretty cool. You can control it with your with the Alexa app through your tablet, phone, um, whatever kind of device you have. But one problem is is you need a five wire system for your thermostat, which in many older homes um, we only have four. So what we're going to do in this video is to show you how to overcome the obstacles and how to get this thing installed and working and show you some demonstrations at the end of how you can use it with your telephone and Alexa and some scheduling options. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, go ahead and find your uh, fuse box and find your switch for the, for the air conditioners and shut that off and we're going to install it right here here's our old thermostat it's also a Honeywell just a different model so we're going to go ahead and open this up and get started there we go alright so first off let's take the old one off and look inside oh, this just pulls off but before you start doing that you need to make sure this this is a carrier we have a switch on the inside so just turn it off and go out make sure to go out to your breaker box and turn the power off to your AC unit alright so let's go ahead and pop this off it just pulls right off And if we look inside, we can see we got one, two, three, four. We only have four wires. But on the T5, if we this is the inside. And this is the part that goes on the new thermostat. And pull. Okay. If you look at the inside, we got one, two, three, four, five. Because we need this common wire to power it. Um, see where it says C? Okay. This thermostat, the original one, doesn't have that fifth wire. So we're going to have to address that. Alright, so the next thing to do is undo the undo the wires. So all we have to do is it's got some little screws in here. On the wires. On. Two, three, three, and four. Okay. But anyways, on here it says R, it's the red wire, and as you can see on this old one, it has a jumper. Just make note of that. Okay, so now I just pop the wires out. Let's get them all out. One, two, three. These already have stickers on them. But, and the other thing I didn't do is you should take a picture of this just to make sure you put everything back correctly. This one's a little stuck in here. Okay. So, all our wires are out. Red. We know it's red. Okay. Alright. And then we just have to take these two screws off. So G wire, W, yellow, and red. Okay. So that's all we're working with is four wires. 
Okay, green, white, yellow, red. Okay, it comes with uh, this little sticker set so you can wrap your wires to show you what you have. But again, don't forget to take a picture. All right. Now let's take this face plate off. Okay, so we already tried to hook this up one time, but we only have the four wires, white, green, yellow, and red. So we had the white, white, green, yellow, and red, but you need this common wire, the fifth wire, to power the device, otherwise it's not going to work. And the other thing is that this little switch right here says uh, one wire. Flip this switch up because it jumps these two like I showed in the other one. It already had a jumper in it. So if you just has a little switch. That's if you had two red wires, an R and an RC. You just go ahead and stick them in there. Otherwise, if you just have one red, you flip that switch up and it jumps it. So you don't have to worry about that. Since the thermostat is so close to the furnace, I'm just going to replace the thermostat wire since it only has to run about five feet. So we're going to replace the four wire wire with uh, something that has more than four. Okay, so I went to Lowe's and got this HVAC wire. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight wires which is way more than what we need we're going to go ahead and look on the inside here of the HVAC system and see what that looks like so here's our system it's a uh, it's a carrier and we're just going to have to pop this bottom part off and look inside to get to the control board see what we have to do with this wire all right, so we're gonna pop this off, lift it up. I have to push this up all the way to get this one off. Just slips, slides off. Okay. Okay, here's the wire that goes to the thermostat, and you can see it's really close to our HVAC system. And now here's the control board, and we're just going to hook the new wire up to that. Take a picture to take note of where the where the wires are running, so you put them back in the right place. After st starting to put in the new wire, um, after peeling this back or peeling this back in here, this is already connected but I couldn't tell what color the wires were so I peeled this back and here is the fifth wire it's already there so we really don't have to replace this but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but we'll decide and then after peeling this back um, I can see we have the blue wire and that's the one that's gonna be the common C wire that we are missing that we need to hook up to power the device it's 24 volts and if you look down here it just goes into this uh, this con where is it there you can see it right there in that uh, common common port right there and that's 24 volt power to power the thermostat all right, so I'm gonna think about it for a second. I think I'm just gonna replace everything so long as I can tell what color wires go where. So hang on. Okay, I think we're just gonna go ahead and replace this because this green green wire is actually brown. So it'll probably just keep things simpler. 
So we're just going to take them out one at a time, put them back in the right way. So we have already unscrewed the green one. I'm going to slide that in. That's a little too long. Let's trim that back a little bit. Okay. Slide that in. I know some people might loop it around, but I'm not going to do that. Green. Just make sure it's on there, good. Okay. Put the red one in. Okay, red. Okay, so now we have all the wires connected. Make sure you can see how there's other wires that were run in here too, but that was the common 24 volt. Then we got our white, yellow, which also is connected to this other wire. Not really sure what that's to, just make sure everything is hooked up the same. This is the new wire and everything's connected. And just hook up all your wires just like it just like it says on here yellow green white red and the switch is up because it's only one red wire and then this was the new blue wire which is the common which powers the device all right okay we got the cover back on and now let's just move this here Bring this over a little bit, okay, and we'll zoom, okay, make sure all the wires are tucked in, push the lid back up, and then this, the thermostat, just pops right in there like that, okay, and power back on the system. And there you go. Okay, this isn't the screen you're gonna see when you first when you first hook it up. Um, I had already hooked it up, took it off, and because I missed a few steps along the way and had to plug it back in, and everything came back up. Just follow the directions; you won't have any problems initially setting it up. And once you've gotten this far, you're pretty much on your way. We're going to show you um, a diagram here in just a second on how to not have to use um, five wires and just use four with using a jump, which I've searched a bunch of videos and found one tip somewhere that showed you how to do this. I haven't done it. I'm sure it works, but... Um, Anyways, here we go. Now we're going to connect the green wire to the common port where the blue wire is. So just disconnect the green wire and connect it. There's, there won't be any blue wire because this is the four wire way. And just connect it where the blue wire is. And then you're going to have to add a jumper from the yellow wire to the green wire. Just take a short piece of wire, connect it up to the green green port and the yellow port and that will jump it and everything should work fine. Now that we've finished wiring the control panel we have to go back to the thermostat. 
and instead of plugging the green wire into the green slot we need to plug the green wire into the common slot and that's why we set up the jumper back in the control panel Alexa set the thermostat to 77 degrees the AC is set to 77 and there you have it here I'll show you on the uh, on my screen on my telephone Alexa, set the thermostat to 76 degrees. The AC is set to 76. And you can see there it changed it right there. Um, we may do a, a follow-up video on how to set up all this external stuff to use to control your thermostat because you do have to install a few apps and such. I'll try to answer any questions you may have. I'm not a licensed anything. I'm just a regular homeowner like you so thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and go ahead and smash that bell in the corner and get notified of any new videos that we put out and good luck installing your new system thanks for watching bye bye